Hello, welcome to the first and probably only time I'm doing something like this. I'm not a video person, uh, so please excuse the front-facing phone camera in the lovely studio of a back room of a lovely Central European apartment. So, I'm going to show you these three new items from Sabota. That is the Kukaro hip bag, the Ascare hip bag, does not come with these buckles, I put those on, and the multi-tool pouch. Alright, so let's just get into it. The Kukaro. I'm going to read off my computer down there. It is a 1.5 liter bag. Um, Oh yeah, and kukaro means purse in Finnish. So, do what you want with that. Um, everything else you can pretty much read on the website. Um, bah, bah, bah. It is 20 by 12 by 5 centimeter and 500D Cordura, as opposed to the legendary, lovely Yakari bags, backpacks. These are 1000D Cordura. So this thing is super heavy duty, but so is this thing. Just half, I guess. Something like that. So 500 will get you just as far, in my experience. So let's get into ah, Kukaro first, yeah. All right, I'm going to turn this thing inside out first, just so you can see all of the pockets on the inside. That's all I got in there for now. So you don't have to be too careful. These are What's that tagline? These are made to endure. So, right here, starting on this side, we have pretty big loop field there. Behind the loop field, you have two pockets right there. Sewn down the middle. You got two webbing loops here for dummy cord or whatever people call it. Probably gonna hook my keys on there or something, but whatever. This is gonna be my everyday, just outside bag. On the other side, you have this elastic. I think it's 50 mil, 50 millimeter elastic up and down. But you see, you can put a hand here and probably just barely two fingers. Yeah. This one has already been stretched out by my Leatherman. So, so I can get in there better. So. Right there. You have one big. Two small. And right behind that. Is one. Big pocket. Flipping it back over. Like I said, you don't have to be careful. We all know what we are buying. Alright, so with this, on the outside, you have this Molly Pals thing. With two drainage holes there. I just call the whole thing Molly. It doesn't matter if it's the... I think there's a difference between this and this. Like, this is Pals and this is Molly. Like, but they work together. Something. I don't know. In the army, we just called it all Molly. So that's what I'm going to do. On the side, you have two Molly. Two Molly. Nice little front field of loop there, which is perfect size coincidentally for 
a happy patch. You have no idea how happy this makes me. Life is just better now. Okay, so perfect size for a happy patch. Back pocket here. Probably just big enough to make a glove out of. But you can use that as a giant belt loop if you want to keep this on a big equipment belt or something like that. You can tuck these straps in. Female buckle does not come off. Male buckle does. I'm not going to take it off right now because I'm a little bit lazy. But you can tuck all of that in the back. If you took this, this buckle and tri-glide off, you can make this a whole lot flatter and cleaner. But I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to kind of get it in there to show you what's going on. Boom. You can make it a lot prettier. You can make it a lot nicer. I'm not going to right now. But I will do it on here. Because I'm going to show you how I am going to carry it. So. What you can do with this. You could. Run elastic cord through here. And do things with it. Or, I happen to have the same scissors that they have in one of those pictures. I, I'm going to show you how they did it. Little lark's head, I believe. That one's called. Secure that on there. If you were going to make this like a little med bag, it would work great, actually. I already tried that out. Take this, loop it around the scissors there. If I had it a little bit tighter, that would be super secure. I could tie the knot a little bit tighter, but I'm not going to. Getting this thing untied is terrible, so I would just cut it. Which I already did to get it off him. His name is Jack, by the way. Anyways. If you need a small medical bag, this is actually pretty perfect for that. If you have the tourniquet pouch, it will go on the bottom perfectly. By the way, tourniquet, ah, tourniquet, get orange, orange, Sharpie, because you always need to write the time. Probably going to lose their leg anyway, but right the time. I think it's more to do with blood clots and stuff than saving the leg. I just always assume if I'm putting on a tourniquet, they're going to lose a leg. That's just a general rule I live by. So, get this guy on here. Doop de doop de doop. Sits real nice on the bottom there. Slap that tourniquet in there. By the way, I was just a lowly infantryman with combat lifesaver training. Don't take anything I say as medical advice. But if you see somebody bleeding like super bad, tourniquet. Not a doctor. Anyways, so that guy fits on there very nice. And here is actually pretty perfect setup for all sorts of medical stuff. Get this stuff. This stuff is amazing. 
tapes. Should I load it up right now? Or should I not? Probably not. Blankets. This little foil emergency blanket. If somebody's bleeding out, doesn't matter if it's a hot day, wrap this on them. They are going to lose a ton of body heat. Nah. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. You get the idea. You've seen the pockets. You see what you can do with them. Me personally, I do always carry a tourniquet with me every single day of my life. But I'm not going to keep it on the outside. If I had a black one, maybe, but I sent that one to Ukraine. Because orange over there can probably get you a shot. So I'm going to take tourniquet pouch off. I'm going to show you how I do it. Passport book. I'm an American living in Europe, so having a passport with me helps. Even if I have proper identification and papers and stuff, having my passport does help. And I keep my whole family's passports in here because Russia. You can see what side I'm on. Anyways, bit kit. I like to keep behind one of these Velcro loop pockets, one of those two. Pepper spray, because I talk a lot and people are weird. Wallet. And whatever else you want to stick in there. I can probably fold up a shopping bag and stick it in there. But I'm not going to do that right now. This thing is quite nice. Actually, what I'm going to do is, where's my 2x2? Two two? There you are. I'm going to take a 2x2. Two two. I'm going to come over here next to the female buckle. I'm going to loop this dude on there. Since it only has one row of molly, pals, whatever, on each side, what I'm going to do, take this guy, come over the top, down into the second one, and back into the third. Shoop dee doop. Flip it over. This is why you do this with empty pouches, by the way. There we go. So you see kind of how I did that? It's actually not uncomfortable. So I could do that a little bit better actually, so it slides on the other side of, there we go, much better. Now it's not so bulky right there. And how I'm gonna do this, over my shoulder, shoot you do, bam. Stuff I might need quicker, more important stuff like passport, wallet, stuff like that. So there's the Kukaro. Hopefully I am saying that correctly. Not much else to say about that. Let's move on to the Ascare, which in English means a chore, like doing your chores, like the dishes, or a chore. You know what I'm talking about. All right, so this is the Ascare. Show you the back. I already said I put these buckles on myself. I was going to take them off for the purposes of this video, but they were hard 
to get on, to use good language. Um, they are difficult to get on. They are even more difficult to get off. But it's possible. That's what they're made for. They're made to actually hold very strong and not come off. Unless you really want them to come off. And I don't want them to come off right now, so whatever. Comes with a 40 mil strap around the back. It is made to be a hip bag. But this thing is gigantic. And I wear the Varustaleka tack pants. And I keep a Yakari Puko in the mag pocket. Ever so perfect, by the way. So that's kind of going to get in the way of that if I need it. By the way, bolter on case. Made by Sabota, in case you didn't know. I uh, am not going to do that. Probably, maybe, one time I might find a need for that in the future. But for now, I'm going to show you how to make a shoulder bag out of it. and unloop this unloop that I was so excited to get this bag that days ago while I was still waiting for this bag to come in the mail I made this this is a shoulder strap from Barustaleka shoulder pad from Varustaleka, but I don't like the little velcro bits on the end, so I put rivets in there instead. So, shoot de doop It's a shoulder bag. I'll show you more about that in a second. But first, cool way to get rid of these straps. There's that same large pocket back here, but this one actually has a foam insert. You can take that out if it bugs you. I like it. So, it's gonna stay there. I, I'm gonna move that. This is the shorter side that had the female buckle on it. I'm gonna move this just about right there. gonna leave this one on over here all the way at the end put it behind the foam pad so it's not jabbing you when you're carrying it and then you can take this side and actually I'm gonna pull this back out a little bit just to, so you can see I'm just looping that in. You see how I pulled that side through all the way out the other side here. What I'm going to do is just, just through the first part right there. Put it back through. tight which since it's looped through from here through here back here watch this I'm gonna pull these wings out a little bit but zoop, everything is tightened down in there obviously you can do it a little bit better which I'm going to the moment this video is over I'm gonna fix this back up to how I had it before I put that buckle back on to show you how to do this. And then I'm just going to feed this back through. You can loop it back into that tri-glide, I believe that they are called. But for now, I'm just going to show you that it is entirely possible to hide those straps 
you can fold them up a lot nicer than that. I'm just not going to get too into it right now because it's going to take me like 10 minutes to lace them back and forth through because I'm just that kind of person. I need my shit to be perfect. All right. So this is now a shoulder bag. I originally wanted to put it right here, like loop this guy through here and just use that tri-glide to kind of sew it together right there. But it made the bag pretty wonky back and forth. You know, that looks super janky on the video, so I'm going to actually fix this. I promise it looked a whole lot better before I messed it up this morning. All right, so it was getting super wonky back and forth if I laced it through there, but this guy sits perfectly, absolutely perfectly. Shoot the doop doop. Do all your stuff. That is a nice shoulder bag. Probably one of my favorites. And I really like how they did this. It does not open all the way, like a, the clamshell, I guess you would call it, style opening. I have a Tasmanian bag that I promise I did not plant there. I use this as a tool bag sometimes. But this is kind of the same idea as this one but this one opens up all the way what you don't realize is that i keep some tools on the outside because you know do 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 need something fast whatever um if there's any weight on the front of this bag or on this velcro field the moment you start unzipping whole thing just flies right open This thing does look janky right now. I know, but whatever. I took a lot of pockets and stuff off of that to use for other stuff. But I don't really use Tasmanian too much anymore. For some odd reason. Wink. All right. So, I'm going to take this off. I'm going to do the same thing as we did with the Kukaro. And I'm going to flip it inside out. I'm going to tell you a little secret. It's a diaper bag. For now. Change of clothes. Because the moment you change a diaper, they're going to pee all over their clothes. That's just baby science. Bunch of extra diapers. And butt cream and all that good stuff. Normally this would have toys in it. And water and snacks and stuff. but that's more of a pack as you walk out the door kind of thing. So, inside of the bag, the Velcro part is pretty much just a large copy of the Kukaro. Two pockets behind Velcro field. Fairly large pockets though. Spread out your hand about that big, I have size nine. That's the exact size. You can wear this as gloves. I, I could. Other side. With the elastic bands here. There is no pocket here. It is just the elastic. There's three on top. Two on bottom. These two. Fairly big. These three. More like handcuffs but they've already proven very useful organizing some snacks and baby toys and stuff like that for me so i very much appreciate that and right here two dummy loops that would 
pull some stuff that you can tuck into the pockets or leave them dangling out, whatever you would enjoy. As for size, I'm looking around this place and even though I have a fully stocked gear closet right next to me, I can't think of what to use to compare size. Silky big boy. Too big. Maybe. No, too big. Ulta 4's Egg... Eggleson, I, I believe. I never practiced Swedish, but I practiced a lot of Finnish before I started this. Okay. This guy. Definitely hide in there. But he would not hide in the kukaro. Let's see, I made a joke with my buddy in France that we could just use a bunch of Mora companions as a measuring tool and start a new thing. Yeah, so that's about one Mora companion tall and about one and a half Mora companions wide. Yeah, so that's depth. Depth meter, one third to half a companion. Let's see the Kukaro. Not even one companion wide. Obviously not one companion tall. Depth, about one fifth a companion. Let me see. If you would go in, nope, eh, but it would slide on there quite nicely. All right. Generally, you can see how big these bags are. I don't think I need to play around too much. By the way, five millimeter screws up here clicks on perfectly. Like a whole rack. So let's see. Same guy I was talking about with the Mora Companion measuring. We were having a pretty intense discussion about whether or not you could replace this top flap. With one of these bags. I don't think it's a good idea. He loves the idea of being able to replace this because he wants to have a, I believe this is his argument, he really wants to have an accessible pocket from the outside on the uh, Yakati bags on the top here. I don't mind at all. But for me, if you took this off, you would lose whole lot of protection. You see how this thing does come all the way around? Holds it nice. Protects it nice. But he thinks otherwise. He thinks that you should be able to have a pocket up here. It's got Molly. Put a pocket on there. Speaking of, you could lace this through as a additional top pocket. You could find a way to do that. I'm not gonna do it right now. Just play with it, you'll find a way. Replacing it, absolutely not. That thing is too small. Too small. As for the Ascare, at least for the medium, way too big. Maybe if you did that number with it, but then you're going to lose a lot of your storage capacity, bending it that way. 
medium is all I got because medium is perfect for me. So everything else you can add to the outside, which I will show you. So take out your trusty box of buckles as everybody has, right? Always put one or two buckles in every order. It's gonna pay off. And then you don't have to scramble and try to order a bunch of buckles at one time. Every single order I've ever made from Savota, I'm sure I pissed somebody off in the warehouse because they have to go hunt down a bunch of random buckles for me. And I like the number three, so I always order buckles in the number three buckles. And just to, you know, make it difficult for everybody. This is my first time putting these buckles on, so let me figure out for everybody where the best placement would be. Will it go through the end? It will go through all the way at the end. Okay. So there is a tiny bit of webbing there. Perfect size though. I could just look at the picture, but as I am recording this on my phone, and if I touch that computer to go looking for a picture, gonna shake the whole super crazy rig I have holding my phone and it is not gonna stabilize again for like another five or ten minutes this yeah so I'm just not gonna do that plus there's no adventure in that looking at pictures as we watch a video on things you can do with this bag see I'm not good at this. I'm not a video guy. So, one buckle on. This one should be a little bit easier. Should I go under? Or, you know, I think that's probably actually the better way to do it. So I did it wrong on the first buckle. This one is going to slip. Right on there. Yeah. So I think I just did it wrong on the first buckle I put on. So that one was pretty easy to do. And the picture that I did see from my memory looked a little bit different than that. I'm going to have to take this all the way off. Fast forward if you would like, but we can also just sit here and talk. You know, that was the right way to do it at first. Much easier to do once you have the hang of it too. All right. So if anybody has put the hot cup backpack on the front of a Yakati, then you'll know exactly how to do this already. Those buckles just live on my hatka. And when I am not just walking around town with the hatka, it is the dedicated tent bag that just slaps right on the front of my backpack. Because as I do have a family, when we are family camping, it's tent camping, not open under the star style camping. 
but fairly soon my oldest will be six and he's gonna be sleeping under a tarp with me he's never done that yet so he's an adventurous kid I'm sure he'll like it all right yeah that looks better Where's that fourth buckle? Oh no. Buckle box. I'm sure number four will turn up somewhere. Pop that on. It's like if you ever made a paracord bracelet. Those first couple ties you have to like teach your hands how to do it, but once they have it, it's fast. So I am going to, for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna toss my Ducado in here. Zip them up. Show you how he goes on here. Gonna wanna unbuckle these sides. That's why I put the elastic cord on the side here. So that's not, these buckles are not the only thing holding in whatever's in my side pocket. Elastic cord kit, get one. If that's what it's called, I don't remember. So, pull that guy out, buckle in, pull that guy out, buckle in. This guy out, buckle in, pull this guy out, buckle in, you have front pocket, which if I took a little bit more time would look a lot nicer, but you see how fast you can just slap it on there. Same way, the exact same way as you would do the hotka. Actually, I'll do this and that super cool cinematic breakaway. Let's see if I can get it right the first time. Clip, 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 schwack. Ha ha. So break away and run. Keep your most important stuff in the smaller bag in case you have to run from like a bear or a Russian. Ah, Russian bear. Anyways. <clears throat> Doop, 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 diddly doop. Don't leave all these straps dangly. Tuck them in. Don't be that guy. That's about it. Oh, multi tool pouch. Finish for multi tool pouch. That's not finished. Anyways. It's a multi-tool pouch. Pretty simple. Found that buckle. Pretty simple. It is just one piece of continuous webbing. It comes all the way around. Shoop, doop, doop. All the way in. Actually goes in for a double layer there. Velcro. Surprisingly not as annoying as I thought it would be. Sorry, Stefan. but works just fine. This is a Leatherman Charge Plus. Actually, before I forget, it is going back in the coop garo, his rightful home. Right behind one of those smaller elastic bands. Pops in just like that. Pops out, not at all. And actually with that placement, he holds my wallet in just fine. So there you have it, I guess. You have 
the Ascare, which I fully recommend. This is an amazing bag, very strong, very durable. It's going to get a lot of use. And the lucky day when our kid is not wearing diapers anymore, this is going to be mine. But until then, it is a shoulder diaper bag. At least when I'm alone with them, this is my diaper bag. Kukaro. Did I say that was the Kukaro? That's the Askare. I don't know. Whatever. I'm not even editing this video. Kukaro. This is how I'm going to leave it set up. This is going with me every single day. This thing is amazing. Highly recommend it. It's a multi-tool pouch. Okay, that is about it. I think I am just about done here. That makes me so happy. That's like my favorite thing that they've ever done. I love that so much. Okay. That's it. Bye-bye.